I created all these animated titles and graphics in CapCut for desktop in just a few minutes, really. I just find it so easy and intuitive. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm actually a long time Premiere Pro user. You know, I started way back like 2015 when I was editing my first sci-fi series. But a couple of weeks ago, I just made a switch really to CapCut for desktop. And really it's just because the difference between creating titles in Premiere and in CapCut is really night and day. With CapCut, I just found myself having so much fun instead of tearing my hair out and getting frustrated. And it's so fast that you can really get a momentum going. So in this video, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to create these kind of great looking titles. And you're gonna to get to see just how intuitive and flexible this CapCut desktop system really is. This is what a project looks like in CapCut desktop. There's no switching to different windows or anything. It's all contained within this one layout. And that does make it easy to find what you need. So what I'm working on here is a series of tutorials for my Patreon members, which shows how to master any video recording app on your phone. I'm going to be editing it all in CapCut for desktop. To add text, select in the menu at the top. Now we have various choices down the left here. Choose add text. Hover the mouse over the default text box and click on the add button. A brown text clip is now added to the timeline. Select it and change the text in the box on the right. And then below, use the drop down menu to select a font. In the preview screen, in the middle here, drag the corners of the box to change the size. You can also drag it around the screen to position it. And in the box on the right, and there's all kinds of other settings for text as well. The beauty of this CapCut text system is how you add animations. With the text selected on the timeline, select the animation tab in the top window. So now we can add three different types of animation to this text. We've got intro, out, and loop. The intro adds an animation to the beginning of the text. Out adds one to the end, and loop adds animation for the whole duration of the text. And if you want to see what the animation does, you can just hover over it. So it's just so easy to choose the right animation because it just immediately you can see what it does. I'm going to choose slide up. Just click it, and it will add it to the text clip, and you get a quick little preview. At the bottom of the text box, there's now a slider, which you can use to change the length of the animation. So by default, it's half a second. Let's make it two seconds. Now let's choose an end animation. So there's usually a corresponding out animation for each intro animation. And so this time it's called slide down. So if you choose the matching animations, the text leaves in the same manner that it arrived. But you don't have to choose the same animation. You can literally choose anything. And there's so many to choose from. So that makes this very flexible compared to other editing systems, especially Premiere Pro, which is what I have most experience with. We now have two duration sliders, one for the intro and one for the out animation. So customizing this animation in and out is just so quick and easy, isn't it? Now if you want, you can also add a looping animation. Again, really easy. You can just try things and experiment. But what I like to do is to add a slow zoom to the text using keyframes. So click in the top menu to go back to the text editor window. And now scroll down to where it says scale. On the right of the slider is a diamond shape. And you just tap that to add a keyframe. And wherever you see a diamond, you can use them to add keyframes and add more animation to your media. Place the playhead over the text somewhere, doesn't really matter. Click on the diamond to add a keyframe. And now you can see that on the text clip. Now drag that keyframe to the start of the text clip. Use a slider to make the text a little bit bigger. And a new keyframe is going to be created. Then slide that keyframe to the other end of the text clip. So let's play this clip. You can see the text animates in, keeps growing, and then it animates out. Now what if we want to add a glow to this text? Well, it's easy. You just click on effects in the text box menu. You've now got all these preset effects to change the look of your text. This one adds a bluish glow to the text. And there's others as well. This rainbow glow is a greenish one. And so you can see that really quickly we've created a nice little animated text here. And finally, let's add some audio effects to the animation, which is going to make it more dynamic. Top left, choose audio in the menu. 
click on sound effects and then use the little arrow to open up a list of headings. Again, plenty to choose from here. You can scroll through or search for something. For example, you could look for whoosh sounds. Now, if you like a sound, click on the star to favorite it. And now you can find that sound in your favorites at the top of the list when you come back. If you start a new project, those favorites will be there ready for you. And these are some that I've added while I've been doing these tutorials. You can also import your own sound effects. Just drag them into the media window like you do with video and other files. But I'm just going to use these pre-installed ones this time. Click the plus button and it's going to add the effect to the timeline. Select it and then use the volume slider on the right to get the right level. And the great thing about CapCut is when you move this volume level up and down on any audio file, you can actually see it visually, the visual representation of the volume moving up and down. Here's another creative idea for some title effects. Create some text on the timeline. For this, I used a fat font because I wanted to have an impact. Also, I wanted to add a texture effect. Select the text and go to effects. The one I chose for this was this one, which looks like some kind of VHS videotape style texture. And now I add the same keyframe effect as I did last time so that the text expands slightly. It is a subtle thing, but it just makes the text a little bit more engaging. Now I wanted a black background for this text, but CapCut doesn't currently allow you to create shapes or backgrounds. So the way to do this, you just search online for a black image and download it. Or you can create one with a tool like Photoshop or Canva or something like that. Just drag it into your media window and add it to your timeline as an overlay. Now you can see that it's sitting above the video of me talking as if I dropped a black video clip there. And then you just place the text above the black background and then we make them the same length. Now here's a cool trick. Select both the background and the text, right click and choose create compound clip. The background and the text now become one clip and we can add animation to it as if it's a video clip. We go to the animation tab on the right. Now we have in, out and combo options like before. For this, I chose the black hole effect, which is pretty cool. And I use it for both the in and out animation. Again, I'm gonna add some audio effects to go with the in and out animations. Magic explosion for the in and a cinematic scene change for the out. But you can see by using this compound clip feature, you can add a whole load of extra options when you're creating text. And it's so easy to do. There's another use for this compound clip feature, and that's to tidy up your timeline. So let me just quickly show you how. So for example here, I've animated a whole load of titles as a list of camera apps. I could have just had them all in one title clip, but I wanted them to arrive one after the other to make it more interesting. And to do this, you need to create a title for each point in the list. So you, then you end up with this really big stack of titles on your timeline. So let's just tidy this all up. All you need to do, select them all, right click and choose compound clip. And now they're all contained in this one clip. That's just so much better, isn't it? If you want to go back in and edit the titles, all you've got to do, right click and select undo compound clip. But that's not your only option when you're adding titles in CapCut Desktop. There's also these presets called text templates that you can use. Select the text and below effects, you will find text templates. Click the little arrow and it's gonna open it out so you get all the little headings. So what we have here are, well, like I say, they're text presets and all the animation is basically done for you. And they're arranged in various different styles so it makes it easier to find them. So I'm usually making tech tutorials and reviews. So I'm just gonna head down to the technology heading and like before, you just hover your mouse over it to get a quick preview of the animation. Tap the plus button to add the title to your timeline. In the window, on the right, type in your own text. And I'll use the slider to resize the text. And it's just so easy, you can just drag it around in the preview window, resize it, reposition it. And if you want to have it at an angle, you can use this control on the right. Oh, actually, there's another way. I see this little circle at the bottom of the text box. You just drag that around and it's going to adjust the angle as well. So these text templates are really quick. And there's a bunch of these that you can use for social media. So the kind of things which are useful for YouTube and other platforms. What I like about CapCut is it's all just there. And it's much easier to find the thing you're looking for compared to Premiere 
and then you just add it to the timeline. Okay, so we now have some really interesting titles. And you know, I've only really scratched the surface here. There's also this feature called stickers. So let's have a look at that. Uh, stickers, it sounds a bit trivial, doesn't it? But actually CapCut have made these useful for YouTubers too. The ones that I use most are under the heading interface. I just find them really useful for doing product reviews and tutorials. And actually I've been using them throughout this video as well. Lots of them are animated, so and of course you can add your own animation. Again, just hover over it to get a preview and you can see whether you like it or not. When you add stickers to the timeline, they actually have their own type of track. Now if you look at the left side of the timeline, you can see that we have tracks for text, we've got tracks for stickers, tracks for media like video or images, and each type is represented by a different icon. You can't mix them, so you can't put stickers on a title track or on a video track, for example. So when you add a sticker to your timeline for the first time, it's going to create a new sticker track. And it's just so easy, drag them around, resize them, rotate it like with the other media. And they also have their own set of animations, which you can find in the right hand window. So we've got in, out and loop again, and they just work like text animations. There's actually quite a few stickers to play around with here under different headings. And if you use the mobile app version of CapCut, then you'll probably be familiar with them. CapCut Desktop now has these AI characters. And what they allow you to do is to generate a video of someone talking to the camera based on the text that you input. Add some text on your timeline, and now you can get an AI character to speak those lines. It's actually very easy. And let me show you how. Here's my text on the timeline. So I just select it and head to the AI characters tab. So click on them for a quick preview. When you found the one you like, click add. CapCut now adds a video clip below the text clip in the timeline and it starts to generate a video. And once it's finished, you can delete this text or you can keep it if you want to use it for captions. Press play and now you can watch your AI character say the lines that you gave them. Add some text on your timeline and now you can get an AI character to speak those lines. If you change your mind and want to choose another character, just head up to appearance, select another character and then click OK. CapCut now generates the same dialogue, but with a different character. Add some text on your timeline, and now you can get an AI character to speak those lines. But what if you want a different voice? Well, you can change that too. Go to Audio, and then Voice Changer, and then Characters. Find a voice that you like and click OK. CapCut is now going to remake the clip with the new voice. Add some text on your timeline. And now you can get an AI character to speak those lines. And if you go to frame, you can crop the character in different ways. So you've got circular ones and you've got square ones. You've got this sort of vertical video ratio. And as always, you can adjust the size and rotation in the preview window. And you can actually go in and change the text if you want. And not only that, but if you can't think of any text, you can use this AI text generator and it's going to help you to write your script. And of course, you can apply all the same animations to these character videos that I showed you earlier. So this will be useful for people who want to make content, but they don't really feel comfortable presenting it themselves. If you just want the voice without the video, go to text to speech, choose a voice and that's it, quick and easy. Now, the last time I did one of these callouts where the text tracks something in the image, I used Adobe After Effects. It does look good, but it does take some messing around. It's much easier to do this in CapCut. So look at this. Now I have my video clip here of the smartphone gimbal, which I was reviewing. So let's add a callout text. Under text templates, go down to the heading advertisement. There's a few of these callout type animations. They're basically just some text with a line, which uh, usually is animated, and you attach that to the object. So I'm gonna use this one with a text box. So I'll just add it to the timeline and then I'm going to stretch it out so that it lasts the whole video clip. So I'm just going to write in here three axis motorized gimbal and then I'm going to resize it. Go to the box on the right, select tracking and then click on motion tracking. Move the playhead to the start of the clip here and then drag the yellow box over the area in the video that you want to track. You'll probably find that the more contrast there is here, with the background, the better it's going to track it. And now just click start. And we just got to wait a few seconds while CapCut tracks the object. 
if we press play now, you can see the text is locked on to this object and it's going to move with it as the camera moves. So now let's add a price to this object. Drop it in, put in the price and again add the tracking. And by the way, even after you've tracked the object, you can still move the text around and it will keep tracking. So I'm just going to move this price label up to the top here. That's it. And it's done. And that took me, what, five minutes? What I like about these animations is they're really nice and simple. But if you do want to spice them up, it's also quite easy. The only real downside is that you can't edit them. You know, you can't change the text color, for example. Or if you wanted the call outline to be on the other side, you can't do that either. So you, you would have to choose a different call out. <laughs> you know, the number of templates that you have to choose here is pretty crazy. The next trick I'm going to show you is a video in text technique. Video in text is when you can see a video through the text. And again, the magic of the compound clip feature allows us to do this pretty easily. So just place the video that you want to see through the text on the first track. I'm just going to use some stock footage of a woman on a beach. You can, of course, use whatever video that you like. Now, add the black image that we used earlier onto the next track. And then you just stretch it out as long as you want the text to be. Add some text and choose a nice bold font. You want the letters to be nice and wide so that you can see through them. The one I'm using here is called Druck Wide and it just comes with CapCut. Scale the text so it's nice and big. Now I'm going to change the color of the text to bright red. Now I'm going to select both the text and the black image, but not the video. And now right click and create a compound clip. And then once I've done that, CapCut now treats that compound clip as a video clip. So select the compound clip and in the box on the right, go to Cutout. Check the chroma key checkbox. Use the color picker and select the red from the text. Now use the strength slider and slide it over until you see the video below. And there you are. That's, that's the basics of it done. Now we can use any of the preset animations so we can really make our video in text stand out. But this time I'm actually going to use a video effect from the box on the left. So I haven't actually talked about these yet, but they can be applied to any media, including compound clips. Uh, maybe some lightning. That actually looks cool, but maybe for a different title. The ripple distortion is pretty good, isn't it? But maybe more for a sort of underwater video or something. Okay, the one I'm going to use is called Freeze Moment. So when I add it, you can see that it just goes on the timeline above everything. So it's not added directly to the clip. It actually appears as a new layer on the timeline. And this layer is going to add this effect to everything below it. And the great thing about video effects is you can even edit them a little bit. So you just select the effect on the timeline and controls for the effect appear in the box on the right. And these effects also allow you to add keyframes. And so it changes over time. Anyway, I'm not going to do that. Now I'm going to add some sound effects to you know, make it more dynamic. So I'm going to just go to the CapCut sound effects library. And the one I'm using is called Camera Shutter 2. So I'm going to use the end bit of this. You can easily just edit these sound effects. Just drag the ends to cut off the bits that you don't want. And I'm going to use the end bit, which is that kind of paparazzi shutter burst. So just play around with it until it feels like it's in the right position and it's working with the animation, you know. So let's add a bit of music, you know, a bit of high energy music here. And finally, I'm going to add one more animation to the text. So we just select the text and then in the box on the right, go to animation and then combo. The effect I'm actually going to use is called bouncy rush. And this just adds an extra bit of movement throughout the clip. So here's one last cool trick. You may have seen this effect where the text appears behind the subject. In CapCut, you can do this so easily in just a few clicks. So drop the main video onto the timeline. I'm just going to use the same one again. Add the text on the top. I'm just going to use the word summer here. Now, what we actually want to do is place a copy of the original video above the text. But with a simple text layer, you cannot do this. You know, CapCut doesn't allow you to place video above text. So again, we need to use our friend, the compound clip. Add the black layer below the text, select the text and the black layer together, and then create the compound clip. Select this compound layer, go to blend, and then select screen. The black area should now disappear, leaving the white text. So copy the first video layer and place this clip above the text layer, which we can now do because CapCut treats the compound clip as a video layer. 
And so now we want to cut out the woman so that she appears above this text. And we want to remove the background, basically. So we just select the top clip, go to cut out, and then select auto cut out. CapCut is now going to automatically remove the background from this clip and leaving the woman. So if I just switch off the layers below now, you can see what's going on here. Anyway, put it all back. And there we have text behind a subject. And it really only took a couple of minutes. It's not perfect, especially around the hair. You know, if your subject doesn't have this kind of long hair blowing in the wind, it's probably going to work a bit better. So I'm, now I'm going to add a little animation to the text. And I'm going to use this falling animation. So it kind of looks like it's dropping out of the sky. Um, you know, like it's blowing in the breeze and then it sort of swooshes away at the end. And then finally, I'm going to add one of CapCut's preset color filters to warm it up a bit. And this one is called Freedom. And you just lay it over the top like video effects. And actually, let's just add some video effects here. I'm going to add some light leaks. Now I'm just going to add some kind of chilled tropical island music. And this is something you literally cannot do in Premiere. OK, yes, you can do it using After Effects, but it takes hours. And, you know, good luck finding the right title animation as well. So if you want to learn more about filmmaking, join us on Patreon, where I've got my Video Creator Pro level, which is going to take you from beginner or whatever level you are. And it's going to really polish up your skills so you can do this at a better level and you can turn your video creations into masterpieces. On YouTube, it's kind of difficult to find things which are structured. So over on Patreon, we've got nine day courses for smartphone filmmaking, for using gimbals. And we've just started a new course which is going to allow you to master any camera app if you just understand these six key settings. There's tons of other stuff as well, including the Discord chat. So if you have any particular questions that you want to put to me, you can do it there. So that's it for this one. Happy filming.